What is that, three? Yeah. So the best thing about 3 0, a chance to go 4 0. Um, ever since last year, last, last, uh, the end of last season, our defense is playing exceptionally well. To think they held that outfit to whatever yards they did, uh, well below their average, and five turnovers on offense, that's an exceptional play by our defense. So uh, I know there's going to be a million questions about the offense, and there should be. Uh, that's, uh, we're, we're, there's a little discombobulation that's got to get worked out. We have good players, good coaches, good scheme, and uh, and uh, and I don't never. I always get sick when I hear start talking like that because you take away from a great effort by opponent. But it's a very good effort by opponent. But we expect much much higher uh, execution than we're having right now. So I answer questions for you. Front row left, Bill. <clears throat> there weren't any excuses. There wasn't a short week. They didn't play a strange defense. Can you put your finger on what Actually the Actually played all odd. Yeah, they, uh, they changed their defense, but once again, that's, you're right. That's, can you put your finger on what the issue is offensively? No, but just because you, you, you can say the offense line is not blocking well or not coaching well on the offense line, then all of a sudden the you know, receivers have some issues and it's, uh, the quarterbacks have some issues. So it's discombobulated right now. And offense is a, you know, it's a play. And the easiest way to think, it's 11 people doing the right things at the right time. And, uh, we're having um, some issues with that. That's not happening, obviously. So go back to work and get it fixed and get it fixed fast. I have not lost confidence in our staff and our players, obviously, because we have very good players. And we'll get it worked out. Over to the right, Clay. Coach, that uh, pick six by Darren Lee, it maybe ends up being the difference in the game. Maybe talk about that. And should you give one guy all the reps now? Everybody's, you know, all the armchair guys will say, oh, it's all diluted. Do you need to pick a guy and It's go all diluted? With the reps, are they diluted? You know, there might be some truth to that. And uh, not that I'm going to call up some armchair people and ask them what they think. But uh, I, I do believe in game reps. And that's how players get better. And that's something that I'm going to, you know, that's going to spend a lot of time thinking about that. What about Darren's play? Oh, great play. He's, he's, he's one of the best players in the country. I love that kid. And he's a high energy guy. And he's got great, he's, you know, he's uh, got offensive skill hands. And, and uh, really is a great player for us. Far left, Doug. Urban, the quarterbacks threw three interceptions today. What, mm. what, how, what part of the offensive struggles are the quarterback at the moment? I'm not gonna. I'm not prepared to tell you that yet. I'll give you a little bit more insight next week. But the first one, it kind of, you know, it was a wet ball and let let it go down the field. The second one was just a misread, and uh, the third one uh, was we were trying a vertical pass down the field and uh, so misfired. I don't think there was duress on each any one of them. It's just not fair for me to say. And I'm not a big BCD guy, and I'm not going to blame and complain and defend. So I'll have a little more information for you next week after we uh, decipher what exactly happened. And I know the game just ended, but do you know who your starting quarterback is right now? Uh, good question, and uh, I don't know that right now. That's, and I, I haven't had time to think about it. Far right, Jared. At Urban, you've spoken uh, several times the past couple of weeks about the offensive line. Just a thought on... When you're dealing with them right now mid-game, are you sensing some frustration from them? Because they, they know and they understand. Sure. These are veteran kids that have uh, uh, been playing together for a couple of years, second year playing together with the addition of Chase. And there was, there is, uh, you, know, uh, you know, that's kind of who, when you think of the big wins we've had around us because you're displacing people and then we're a play action team on top of that. That's when it's... That's when things are going downhill fast, when you get Zeke and you see him busting, ripping through there, and the play action off of it. And we're not hitting that. We haven't had it really, you know, uh, against uh, Virginia Tech, the Bears there, and we just didn't, we didn't, we were discombobulated. Last week is all odd, and then this week they went all odd, and we're, we're having trouble with that right now. So we, we have to, number one, we got to give our players the right stuff at the right time to give them a chance, and then they have to execute it. And I'm not, certainly not saying, our, boy, the offensive line, once they, no, no, that's not it at all. So we have a long way to go, um, coaching and playing. And um, the good thing is we're going to devote a lot of time getting this in right. Far left, Austin. Urban, with as much as your reputation is tied to offense, are, are you OK with this currently being a defense-led program? Sure. I'm OK with winning games. And uh, I'm not OK with five turnovers and lack of execution and not be able to uh, control the line of scrimmage. Because that's a recipe for failure. When you, you know, at some point you'll fail miserably. I was saying turnovers, and, and, and if you can't control the line of scrimmage, you're not going to win a big game. And uh, those two things got to get fixed fast. 
Front row right, Tim. Yeah, Urban, last guy I heard say discombobulated was me. Uh, that's a, how, how many times have you used that word in your life? Offensively, a couple. It's been yep. a while since we, we've looked like this. Yeah. So we got to get it fixed and get it. Uh, did I learn that from you? Uh, maybe. <laughs> or are you just taking credit? No. <laughs> I wanted to ask you this. So there, was a, there was a time there when uh, JT threw a ball out to Vanette in the left flat and uh, pulled the string on it, it looked like. And it looked like you mouthed to JT watching television, throw the ball. I mean, uh, what was going on there? Did you feel some tentativeness from your quarterbacks today? Once again, I don't want to, I, those kind of questions, I want to wait until I watch it. Uh, I do remember that it kind of died on him on the left flat wide open. And, um, and he's, you know, he's a great player. He's got to shoot that. And I think Nick, you know, is a low catch. Go to catch it and turn around and make a play and go get a first down. So uh, I'll have more. I just, you, you're not, I mean, not going to have me start pointing fingers. I'm not going to do that. I want to do that, but why did you stick with JT going into the second half? Like we felt like he gave us the best chance, you know, to move the ball down the field. And two more questions. Far left, Kevin. Coach, how good was your secondary today? Uh, Northern we? Illinois had over 700 passing yards in two games. Coach, how's it going? Um, he had over 700 passing yards. I'm sorry, start it again. Okay. How good was your secondary today? They only had 80 yards passing and over 700 in the first two games. How crucial was their performance today in giving you guys a victory? Yeah, that's uh, three games in a row. I think two that we've kept, uh, I didn't know that, we kept them under 100 yards, right? And that's unheard of. And once again, we have a lot of – I love this quarterback we played. Um, this coach, I don't know him, but I told him he's, what, what an outstanding team he has. Uh, but uh, our secondary across the boards is as fine as any secondary that I've had. We've had some really good secondaries over the years. And final question, Steve. Yeah, Coach, you guys had a seven-point lead. It was third and goal at the five, something like that. And Ezekiel Elliott went up the, the middle, got two yards. It looked like there was a lot of confusion on the sideline. Did somebody not know it was third down or – what was the thought on that play call? Maybe, I don't know, throw the ball in the end zone there, perhaps. Uh, I'm trying to recall the play. Uh, you know, we've done that before. Yeah, it was kind of two down territory, and I wanted to pound it in there, and we didn't get the necessary yardage. Is that when we kicked the field goal? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, right, the confidence level I have right now is to give it to the, one of the best running backs in America and come rocking off the line of scrimmage against pressure, and, and uh, which we've done many, many times over the last few years. So that, that was the thought behind it.